One of the biggest stories from this past offseason and a story that's not done yet and is going to continue to be a very, very big season going forward into really the foreseeable future until we finally get to a conclusion uh, has been the story of Jensen and how things have played out for him. You know, going from um, being the starting mid laner for Team Liquid last season, having a pretty good showing at Worlds, uh, still being under contract and, you know, mostly being expected to return to Team Liquid in 2022 before obviously being replaced by Bjergsen, potentially trying out for the 80 carry spot of Team Liquid, um, potentially, you know, being rumored to be in talks with evil geniuses, some people speculating he could go to Cloud9, some people speculating he could go to TSM. This offseason was just crazy for Jensen. Things were really, really all over the place, and for one reason or another, obviously, he has ended up teamless, and uh, he's been struggling to find a new team, a new organization, a new roster for a bunch of different reasons that we will cover in this video, um, but today we got a very, very big update regarding his future that we just need to talk about, so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate it a ton, and subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. We're getting closer and closer every single day. That'd be awesome if you guys helped us out, but with that being said, let's get right into this. Um, this news comes from IamGerm.net, an awesome, awesome website that you guys should definitely go check out as well. It's going to be the first link in the description down below. Um, the website's still not all the way officially done yet or anything like that. Again, I'm saying it's like beta right now, um, but we have like 10 or something articles up there. You know, we, we're, we're putting out some content. We have a, a good team going that I'm looking to build more and more into the future, uh, but the news here is thank you Jensen, released from Team Liquid. Definitely go check out this article if you want to see, you know, some of my thoughts and opinions in written form, but... Jensen, Team Liquid, parting ways. This did come on Twitter from a tweet from Team Liquid, LOL, where they uh, had this short little video, but they also said, we are so thankful for Jensen for being with us for uh, our team's most successful years. Uh, for, <laughs> they don't even, this isn't even English. For being with us for the our team's most successful years. Really good tweet. Uh, we won LCS championships together, ended up in the MSI finals, and went to Worlds three times. We were lucky to have him for as long as we did, and we wish him nothing but the best. And then there is this like six and a half minute video which is up on youtube as well you guys should definitely go check it out um i don't really want to play too much of it or any of it to react to in this video but obviously very very important he has been uh released from team liquid and this is very very important for a couple of different reasons one um obviously he's not going to be with team liquid in any capacity going forward what this does mean is that uh like he tweets here thanks for the past three years no longer have a buyout. That was a big, big hurdle in Jensen uh, not getting on a team for this, at least for the spring split of 2022. You know, I would say there was a couple really, really big factors. One, um, he had a massive buyout. You know, who knows exactly how much it was, but this guy is a resident mid laner in North America um, and a very, very good one at that. One of the best LCS players of all time, the most successful um, internationally LCS player of all time, maybe one of the, uh, for sure, for sure, the most successful international mid laner in LCS history. Um, again, an MSI final, a world semifinal. He's made out of groups a couple times at Worlds. This guy has really been good internationally, and he was really, really good this most recent year. You know, he's not on a team because he had a bad 2021 by any means, but very expensive buyout. On top of one of the biggest, if not the biggest, I don't know if he's like second, third, fourth, whatever. He's like top five for sure um, salaries in the LCS. So you have a very, very big buyout that you have to pay to then also pay Jensen a very, very big salary. So even though Jensen has been one of the best players in LCS history and is expected to really still be that for the next couple of years, some other teams are like, yeah, we, we could get him. We could pay, you know, multiple millions of dollars or we could go a different, cheaper direction. You know, obviously, um, Hunter Thieves ends up with like Abu Dhabi. Uh, Evil Geniuses is going with Jojo Pune. Who knows what TSM is doing? Um, and then Cloud9 uh, ends up going with Fudge, who they just kind of roll swap down. You know, all in all, these were all cheaper options than uh, Jensen would have been. And then Team Liquid themselves, they get Bjergsen. So, um, you know, those are kind of the five teams that were even able to pay the Jensen buyout plus salary in the first place. But now, with no buyout, that removes a huge barrier from this whole Jensen saga and series, and it's way too late in the offseason, and you know, he even says that, um, you know, someone replies no, or not someone, Vulcan replies no buyout hack, and he says a little late, but you know, exactly, better late than never, you know, it is too late for him to get on a team for spring split, you know, pretty much all 20 teams are locked in at this point, even though we haven't had an official announcement from TSM yet, we don't know who is going to be on their roster, their team's still locked in, you know, no one 
most likely is grabbing Jensen for spring split. Um, but this does make it a lot easier for him to get on a team for summer split, if not for sure on a team by 2023. But I really do expect Jen to see Jensen back in the LCS, if not maybe even the LEC in the summer split of 2022. Because again, not only is there no buyout, which is a huge, huge hurdle, but also this contract is wiped out. This contract is gone. His salary is is not that crazy salary that it was before. Now, maybe he still wants or expects that crazy, crazy salary. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I want to say it was a seven-figure, you know, per year salary. Um, again, a very, very successful resident mid laner in North America it demands a high price tag. Um, but now those negotiations are going to start from scratch. You know, if a team isn't willing to pay the buyout plus his huge salary, now there's no buyout and no huge salary to worry about. He's still going to be paid well, but you can you know, negotiate it and Jensen can decide, hey, would I rather take this or play on no team at all or wait for a better option, wait for a better offer? I don't know for sure, um, but it is going to be very, very interesting to see play out. Um, you know, Azale did reply to this and said, how many weeks until welcome EG Jensen if Jojo Pune has a bad start because we know um, there was a rumor that EG was considering uh, picking up Jensen and Doublelift for their roster for 2022, both of them, but then decided to go with, um, you know, Jojo Pune and Danny instead. Um, so if Jojo Pune does st struggle out of the gates, there are definitely going to be some people calling for, hey, why are we playing a struggling mid laner in the LCS when uh, Jensen's out there and he's a free agent? He doesn't even have a buyout. You know, we can get him for, for relatively cheap, especially for, you know, the level of play he's going to command. But it's going to be interesting. Peter Dunn did reply to this. This is the head coach of Evil Geniuses saying 104 weeks, give or take two, um, which is obviously two years, which means that, uh, you know, he thinks they are sticking with Jojo Pune in the mid lane for the foreseeable future. But again, the questions are going to be asked by a lot of these teams. You know, there's five big teams in the LCS right now that are really competing for three spots and, and only one MSI spot. So depending on how spring split goes for a lot of these teams, the fans and even ownership and coaching staff could start asking a lot of questions between spring and summer split. In this past season, we saw a lot of movement, a lot of changes and stuff between spring and summer. And I would not at all be surprised to see that stuff once again, because we're going to have a lot of big name uh, free agents out there. You know, Jazuke doesn't have a team to this point. Um, Niski's going to be a free agent. Jensen's going to be a free agent. Doublelift is maybe still going to be trying to get on teams. Uh, you know, we are going to have some big name players out there and available. And, and some of these lineups that both teams in the LCS and LEC are fielding are not going to work out. Some of them are going to blow up. Some of them are going to suck. People are going to get upset. People are going to get mad. There's not going to be synergy there. There's not going to be results there. Maybe some imports won't like North America, will want to leave North America, will hate their team, hate their coaching staff. Maybe there'll be some drama. You know, last year, think about um, the Alfari drama, Santorin uh, health issues, you know, Sven getting benched. Crazy and unexpected stuff happens all the time. So it's not impossible that we will see Jensen back in the LCS in 2022. Um, I know there was this article from Upcomer uh, about Jensen officially leaving Team Liquid where at the bottom, they have the quote from him that says, uh, this isn't the last, however, we've seen of the player. Jensen isn't retiring. Once we get close to the start of the season, I want to make it a priority to get back into the LCS on a roster where I can make things happen and achieve what I want. I still have so much more to prove and so much more I want to achieve. So again, this is not Jensen giving up. This is not him being done. This is definitely him trying to make his way back to the LCS. Just again, right now isn't the best time. Most teams are locked in for the spring split and they're not going to make a crazy change like this um, so late in the off season. But again, maybe summer 2022, maybe 2023. I definitely expect we will see Jensen back again. And we definitely should. The LCS is a better place with him. And if we want our region to be good, we need to play against and practice against the best. Uh, and Jensen is definitely one of those. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. When do you think we're going to see Jensen back in competitive League of Legends? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today, and all the latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace!